I'm going to give you an eight step action plan for your web design startup. And whether you're a freelancer or a business that's been working for a while, there may be items I share with you here that might transform your business. Map out a step by step journey for where you are now and where you want to get to. Grab a bit of paper and write down where you are. Right, what is your business achieving? What are you making as an income? And where do you want to get to? That is literally action plan step number one. Pretty simple, right? Just map out where you are now and where you want to get to. Step two is breaking down the start and end into individual blocks. Think of it like each brick is going to build the road to success. Follow the yellow brick road to each block and brick of what do you need to do to get from where you are now to where you want to be. That is step number two. So maybe you're only earning 50 or or $100 per website and you want to be earning $1,000 per website. What do you need to do? So if you've been watching any of the previous videos that we've released, you will understand about nicheifying, pricing strategy, pricing ladder, building a brand, social media, trying to reach out to high paying clients. What do you need to do? Step three is is focusing on critical business controls. I know it sounds really complicated. It's about gatekeeping. Do you say yes to every project or request that comes through the door? Or do you kind of set parameters? Who are they? What do they want? What kind of business are they? What kind of revenue do they make? Are they the right kind of client for you? Because if you answer no to any of them, you're not going to enjoy the project no matter how much they pay you. And I didn't get into this industry to have a sleepless night or regret working on a project. Step four is define a unique value proposition. Don't just reiterate what they can already see on your website. Yeah, we're going to build your website and it's going to be five pages and there'll be a contact page, privacy policy and blah, 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 blah. Don't just do that. Make it relatable to the business or the client. What are you going to do for them and what are they going to get out of it? Make it feel like you're providing something for them. Number five, set realistic goals and milestones. So you've got your start to finish, got your bricks and your blocks for what you want to achieve. Be realistic. Don't say you're going to redesign or create a brand new website for yourself within one day. Many are going to master all of social media by day two. By the end of the week, you'll be earning 10 times what you're earning now. Be realistic. It's okay to have a roadmap that is a year or longer. Maybe it's about scaling your business and hiring people. Maybe it's about entering other niche areas. Don't rush it, okay? People that rush it, very few are successful at it. And what you don't want to do is get burnt out. And also at the same time, you don't want to increase demand to such a point where you have a massive influx of clients and you just can't handle it. Number six is about adapting to the ever-changing web world. There's always new page builders, there's always new plugins and tools. What is your toolkit? What do you like building? What do you like doing? Are you going to get on board with lots of animation? Are you going to start to integrate AI into your website? Is there a better way to do appointments and booking systems? What about e-commerce and the way you present your shops or the way you do filtering? Don't just use methods or systems that we, you were using five 10 years ago, you might still be using the same toolkit, but the way you do it is going to adapt move with the times. Number seven is about simplifying the approach. So you've got your blocks for what you want to achieve and you're going to do three of them today. Are you clear about what you're going to achieve? Do you know what success is for that block? So if you've said you're going to create a website and you go and create it today and you tick it off, what did that achieve? So you got your website. So what? Did you handle the SEO for it? Did you make clear your services or your unique propositions? Have you let people know about it and put it out there? Are you going to continuously update it? What is in it for you? And it's a bit like social media or advertising. You put a post out there. What was the end game? So someone has commented. Great, you got a comment. Did you reply to that comment? Why not? You just lost the chance of engagement with someone. Think about what you're going to achieve, but be very clear with every block. Don't just turn it into a tick exercise. There has to be a sense of achievement because if you don't get that sense of achievement, you will lose focus. And number eight is actually all seven combined into one. Use that roadmap as a blueprint print for your business. Try not to deviate from the roadmap. You might have iterations, you might have strands that take you into different directions, but at the end of the day, you want everything to lead to the end goal, a successful, thriving web design business.